Good morning guys, today we're going to be doing a service ribbon wrap, so stick around. Last week I got an email from a new rod builder, Mike, who is also a Navy vet and served uh, in the Gulf War, uh, Desert Storm. And he asked me how he would go about incorporating a service ribbon wrap in a rod. And since I'd never done one of those before, I started digging into it. Here's what I came up with. I went on the DOD site and figured out the exact colors of the service ribbon. Um, he had sent me a picture of it, but I was able to pull the exact information, dimensions and all for this ribbon. This is what it looks like. The total length of this ribbon is only 35 millimeters long. So it is that long. This is obviously a exploded version so i can see what i'm doing so next we're gonna start wrapping let me get prepped what i'm doing now is i'm just getting prepped there's a bunch of ways i'm sure to do this wrap and for a more experienced rod builder you could probably do short tag wraps and accent wraps and just start and stop but i'm trying to keep this as simple as possible with this many colors. I did an underwrap of size A thread in white just to give us a base that's easy to see. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I think this will look okay on a, a silver or a light gray or even a natural finish blank on a gloss black since the ends of the ribbon are actually in black. Um, I don't know if you pick up the actual end of it. I don't know if it would matter to, to whoever's doing these wraps, but I thought I'd have some contrast so you guys can see what I'm doing. Well, this is my last thread that I'm gonna pin underneath. And it's the green. Okay, first try was a total fail. Didn't have everything tied down well enough, got it all tangled up, but I started again. So I've got my red, white, and blue pinned along with my black for the accent here. I'm gonna start with the main color, but I want to pin a thread pull. So I'm going to stick this thread pull in here and we'll start wrapping. So that is wrap number one. Four. Now what I want to do is I want to get this thread pull up and out of the way until later. Six. Now it's time to lose the tie back on the sand. Seven. Eight. Okay. Burnish this up a little bit, make it nice and neat. that extra wrap out of there that I just put in. Okay. That's our first sand. Got it burnished pretty. We're going to untangle this red, white, and blue mess here. Only the black pinned down for now. I've got red, white, and blue. We're going to start with the blue. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cross over the sand. With the blue. And then we're going to pan the sand down. 
back here out of the way. And now we're going to do four wraps of blue. One. And four. Now your next step, we'll push these tight. As we need the white <clears throat> one free. We're gonna pull the white out of here. Red one goes back over here. We've got the blue that's running. We're gonna cross over the blue with the white. And then we're gonna get those out of the way. And we're gonna do four wraps of white, even though we're going over a white background. One. Four. And now we're getting the red. We'll do the same thing. I'm trying to keep these from getting tangled so we don't have a big bump underneath. I need the red. Blue comes out. Red. Blue. And we're going to cross over the white with the red. <coughs> We're going to do four wraps of red. One. Four. And now we're going to go back over the red with the sand. And loosen that up. We're going to pin this red, white, and blue back down together again because we won't need them for a while. <clears throat> and we've got tan picking up again. And we have 12 wraps of tan. So that's the first wrap of tan. I want to tighten these up. All right, so I've got two wraps of the tan in again. And I'm tightening up all of this thread. It's three wraps of tan. And that's the fourth wrap. Okay, now I want to pull the black. So we've got this thread pull here. We've got our black pin back here for the final wrap. And we're going to cross over take a razor knife I'm going to trim these out and put the black in. So there's one. And then we're going to pull this tag through. Straighten these up as we go. We're going to wrap number five now on the tan again. I'm going to pull some tension here. That's wrap number six on the tan. Pull some tension. Cut that clean. 
clean. Seven on the tan. That's eight on the tan. Now we need to do, we need to add yet another color and we're gonna pick up the green now. Okay, we're six wraps in to the sand. I packed two wraps off. My black is not gonna be long enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a longer black. I have to add in a green anyway. So let's get us off some black. Now we'll add the green and the black in for the center piece of trim. Well, let's do this here. We'll put the other six wraps of tan in. Seven. and 12. All right, so that's the tan. We just finished up this wrap here. So we're gonna unpin this green and black. And I'm gonna pull the green separate. This black back in here. Black is back. And now we have six turns of green, but we have to pin the sand color first. sand up and paint with the green some slack pin this to the blank and I'm gonna do six wraps with the green and I need to pull some more tension on it so I'm gonna tie these down out of the way and I need to black free because I need to pin the green with the black like that there's one with the black Six. Pull the green out. I'm crossing over the black with the green. Again, right there. One. Four. That's five. One more wrap on the green. Okay, finally got the green done. Now we're gonna need to pin the green back down with the sand.
And we've got 12 more wraps with sand, so that's one, two, Seven, eight, nine. We don't need the green anymore. We're going to cut that out of the way. <clears throat> now we've got it pinned down underneath the sand. We'll need the black for the finish wrap. All right, let's trim the green out and leave the black intact. Wrong one. This is getting messy, but hopefully this makes sense to everybody. All right, green is out. And we're at seven, eight. here need to get the black out of the way for the moment because we got to do the red white and blue again i'm gonna go ahead and peel these out of the way now that everything's pinned what i'll do is i'll pull a little slack okay black out of the way let's get the red white and blue ready to go there's the red white and blue Black needs to be out of the way. Just there. All right, so we have four turns of red. So there's the red. Now we need to pull the tan out and cross over. Hands out of the way, I've got the red. I'm gonna do red, four turns of red. Four. Now we're gonna do white. I'm gonna cross over with the white, over the red. Four turns of white in one, four, and now it's time to cross the blue. All right, the last turns with the blue, just crossed over the white. There's one. four with the blue. Okay, we're gonna unpin the tan. We're gonna cross the tan over the blue to lock those in. And we've got 12, nope, oh, we've got eight turns of tan left. So that's number one. Okay, we got three turns of sand in. We need to put in a thread pull. So that's four, five. Six turns of sand, and actually we need to add another thread pull so we have something to pull the black with. So 
that's seven. That's seven. We'll cut the red, white, and blue out of the way. We don't need those anymore, but we do need the black. So here's the red, white, and blue going away. Our final turn of sand in. I'm going to pull it with the first thread pull. on these and I'm going to burnish these before I cut them. Okay, let's cut these tag ends off. Final burnishing. Yeah, quite a bit of straightening to do to make these perfect. But I think that explains at least how to do it. Ooh, I got one black crossover there. There it is, guys. It's actually a little smaller than required. I was guessing at how many turns it was going to take to get the millimeters in with this D thread, and I packed them in there pretty tight. If I was gonna do this on a rod for myself, I'd probably double these measurements because this is pretty small, but that's pretty close to the actual ribbon size that you wear on your dress uniform. But there is the Southwest Asia service metal ribbon on a blank. Next time, we're gonna be extending a blank from 7.3 to 7.6 to make a lightweight pitching stick. I'll show you how to do that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.